Hello! Today I need to make some letters and I'm going to need a saw to do it but I can't uh, afford an electric scroll saw or anything like that so I came up with a solution years ago and so today I've got to make another one so I can do this little job. This is going to be a foot operated one and so we don't have to use any electricity and we're going to use one of these saws which is what you'd normally use to cut with a scroll saw but we're going to make it a lot more efficient so that we can get the edges nice and square. I'm going to want to attach it to a table so I'm, or clamp it to a table so first I'm going to have a piece of the block of wood which is anything a piece that's about this big it's going to be about 40 centimeters tall and I'm going to attach it like that and a piece of wood in here as a brace so that I can clamp the thing to the tabletop. One goes right out to the edge here. A couple of three nails just to hold it on. And now the bit that goes in there just to stabilize it. Nail through the bottom and through the back side. And so that means we can now clamp it to the tabletop and it's going to be fairly nice and firm. The next thing to do is take four bits of wood. Now it's not entirely critical the size of them, but we do have this one which is roughly 40 centimeters and I, that's seven. It's just some packing case that I found. And two of those and one of these other ones which is approximately 70 centimeters long. It's going to be making a, a square. Now what we are going to do is trying to find exactly the center because we want to make some holes at approximately, oh, well, so that the whole thing is exactly square. And then I want to do the same with the other side. And find center, which is basically there. And we're going to be making both of them exactly the same. Drill a hole right down where through the two of them and the same on the other end at that cross. Do exactly the same thing now to the other boards. So we're going to find exactly halfway or the middle of that on both ends corner to corner you'll find the center point and I'm going to do it to drill right through both of them so that we're going to get a square then we nail it all together. Flip it over. And then those boards should line up with a nail through the hole and through the other hole with a hammer. Knock it through and on the other side, bend them over. So that you're now going to get a hinge and do that to all four of the holes. So that now, if I was to attach that there, we're going to get a parallelogram that's going to go up and down. Like that. But before I uh, uh, screw it on, I'm going to find halfway. So half of 40 is roughly 20. Make a, and it's going to be halfway there. And I'm going to line halfway up at the level of the bench. Screw that on there. Get a couple of screws so that the piece of wood is perpendicular. Up and 
down. This is so that this piece of wood here is going to go up and down at this point here. The next thing is to take that off, put it down there on the table, and we're wanting to now attach our saw to here and clamp it somehow. So I'm going to get a piece of timber here that okay, does a clamp. And this piece, of, get a piece of plywood that's about the same size as the saw, put it on there and draw around because we're wanting to make a clamp. So I want this piece here and that piece there, cutting out the piece that is was the saw blade. And using our little saw, cut that out. And I want to cut that off so it's going to fit basically in there as well. And you want to position them so that the blade here is parallel with the board here. So it's going to go up and down properly. And then tack them on there with some little nails. And then after that's done, I want a, a, a block of wood that's going to go on top of that. And I'm going to make a hole there where a clamping bolt is going to go through just to clamp that in. And you also have to cut that on an angle so that <coughs> the board, this board won't get in the way of it going up and down. So you need to cut that through there. Basically, through there. Or you can take it off and cut it. You will also probably have to countersink this, just make a little bit of a hole with a chisel so that that sits in there, so that it's, it's flush across, across there. So that that's now going to go up and down, and the blade's going to go up and down, with this bit here rubbing against the table to keep it straight. How are we going to give it its spring? Is we're going to get a stick that's about, you know, skinny and fairly long, and we're going to put it over on top of here. It's going to go from this point here, rest on this, and then clamp it down on the table at the other end. With a clamp which to hold it. Now take a piece of string, make a loop on the end, and tie it onto that bolt there would be a good enough place or make a hole or something like that. You can attach it there. Or better still, put a screw up in the top here and tie your string to that so that it's got a little bit better. And then the other end goes up to the top of the stick here wrap around and I'm going to tie it off so that the thing is going to roughly be about halfway here the bolt's going to be about the level of the table. Tie it off and if you need it more tension just get another stick and clamp it off. And that will give you better uh, a little bit more strength. The next thing you're going to want is a table for you to cut on. So get a piece of board in there and we're going to cut a slot in there, move it out and clamp the board to the table to give us a table top to cut on. Just cut in with a saw so that it will slot in and then clamp it to the table. And the next thing to do is to take a piece of string, loop it around your piece of wood And then you want to go down to the ground and get another stick, a description like this one, and it's going to go on a diagonal, tie it off there, and then that is what is going to make, when you put your foot on it, it's going to make it go up and down. Now you may want to put a leg under that board just to give it some strength, cut it off and screw it through just to stop that going up and down.